<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Matthew and this is Avery. She's my little baby. And uh, we're from Canada. Uh, we're here in Toronto, Ontario. Can you put the press down here? Perfect. We're going to show you some of the snakes that we work with. And if you want to check out my channel, you just put my name in uh, the YouTube search and you'll find me. Okay. Usually Avery likes these. These are her uh, blue-eyed Lucy's. One is named Gentle and the other is named Shiro. Shiro means white in Japanese, I think. And uh, the, one of them is named Gentle to teach Avery to be nice to them. Little <laughs> Jack. Yeah, Jack used to be little and you guys kind of grew together. Yeah. So this is Jack. That's a Yeah. And Avery. Avery likes Jack. Jack is a queen bee ball python. A queen bee ball python. Down there, a gang of bee python. One of the most exciting things for me this year was producing a sterling litter. So sterling uh, boas basically have no pattern. It's a patternless gene. So they're pretty cool looking. So this right here is the world's first motley hypo sterling. So that was pretty exciting. Took me four years to make these guys. This is the world's first motley sterling. So, very, very cool boas. This here is Pearl. Pearl is a blacktail Kribo. Blacktail Kribos are part of a family called Drymarkon. And they're very cool. They're snake eaters, so this snake can actually eat other snakes. It can eat poisonous snakes. So if I ever have stillborns or little snakes that die, I can feed them to this snake. But other than that, she usually eats rats or birds. This over here is a two-year-old moon glow. Lots of people get it into boas. This is lots of our dream snakes at first. So I think that lots of people think that they're going to stay white because when they're babies, they are quite white. If you look at this, this is a baby moon glow. It looks extremely white. Probably IMG sun glows. Look at the orange in there. I'm trying to get it to focus on the animal. This is the mother of that little moon glow. This is my favorite boa. Her name is Nova and she's a sun glow. She's actually in shed right now, but she's really orange. But this is a pastel clown, <laughs> a pastel clown ball python. And I think that the clown gene is pretty amazing. It almost looks like the spider gene, but no head wobble. What I really like about them is they keep their brightness as they get older. Lots of ball pythons seem to kind of wash out, but uh, these ones stay quite nice. This is a square tail boa. It's a recessive gene. I'm going to show you the one and only Calypso. She's pretty cool. I believe that she is the only one in Canada. She is a 50% super dwarf annery ultra. And I actually just fed her, so I gotta be careful. She might come. You know, I'm not gonna really mess with her because she just ate, but I'll just show her to you. She is a really, really beautiful animal, but sometimes she can be a little unpredictable, and because I just fed her, I'm gonna let her be. Jasmine just ate as well, but Jasmine has always kind of been a sweetheart. Super dwarf, she's a fire tiger and she's head albino. I think she might even have some eggs right now, so that's exciting. You see that? Very beautiful snake, and she's a she's a real sweetheart too. <laughs> nice thing with with uh, the retics too, they kind of grab onto you. I also have a couple uh, green tree pythons. It's pretty cool because lots of the time you cannot hold these or handle these. Lots of people know them to be nippy, 
mine. I can go in, I can reach them at night and mess around with them and they're totally chill. So those are pretty cool. And then when they get mature and are ready to breed, sometimes they turn blue. So that's Revel, and then I have another one named Genesis. They both look pretty similar. And they're both very, very nice, very touchable, very handleable. The wife, the wife has come to make me fatter by feeding me tiramisu. Tiramisu. This is my wife. Mm. She's a terrible influence. She's an amazing it's, cook. It's a no calorie judgment zone. She cooks better than most restaurants do. This over here is Queen. She's a 12 year old pure super dwarf reticulated python. Yeah, so the first super dwarfs brought into Canada, they bred, they were wild caught, and uh, Queen came from there. So she's one of the oldest super dwarfs around. She's 11 feet. She's also calico, as you can see these white spots on her, and she has some near her head. So she is actually, to my knowledge, the only calico super dwarf in the world. So that's pretty fun. Hopefully we can get some cool babies out of her. I have to zoom in on the snakes because if my face is here it won't focus on the snakes so this is Zaro he is a king snake and then we have another king snake over here Xena super cute white sided exanthic king snake and then we have this one that is het for that so we'll be growing these for the next couple years these are probably like the smallest little geckos you'll ever see. <laughs> These are pick disc geckos. Little babies. Don't know if it'll zoom in on them or focus on them. Hopefully you can see them. They're very tiny. This is what the dad looks like. They're called pick disc geckos or Madagascar ground geckos or ocelot geckos all sorts of fun names for them and this is a anery bold stripe and it's patternless on the side too very cool well I hope you enjoy seeing a few of my animals I like to uh, have a bit of fun crack some jokes and teach you a few things about breeding animals while showing you some interesting things so if you want to subscribe to my channel my name's right there just put it into youtube search and you'll find me and if you'd like to follow me on instagram my instagram is beauty boas okay have a good one see ya